All right. So I just want to point out something here is that this orchid is about to have another flowers for me. Um, I think we have this orchid for about three years. This is where the original flowers was from before. Once it's done flower, it dries off. And now this one is starting to um, form a little flower right here. And you can see through it. It has some discolorations on the leaf. It's probably because we it's left it outside and forgot to bring it in. It so, but it's doing great. And it's going to be so lovely whenever it blooms. And this is a little grass. So you can see that the orchid loves it when it's moist and there's a lot of moss, moss in there. I have another orchid here. This is an offspring of another orchid that um, it came off off of the mother plant. And so we put it into this container. And the container here has a little hole at the bottom. And so as you can see, the moisture just soak up and keeps the orchid growing and healthy. We have another orchid here that is also about to bloom. It has a multiple buds coming out of the stems. And this is a different kind of orchid. The one that, this one is a Calilea orchid. This type of orchid, you can get this at a grocery store um, where you live, any place that sells a regular orchid. These here's are uh, cuttings of the teardrops but what unique about this is that because this container it doesn't have very much um, it, it doesn't have very much hole in it and it keeps the roots within the container so it creates a little bit of greenhouse lighting for the orchids and so we keep it like this that way the roots can attracts more lights um, so that way it grows healthy and then this little orchid here we actually have it grown on a stump and as you can see it's producing a lot of um, new roots and if we like to multiply this particular orchid we can by cutting the cutting here and then attach it to moss and we can attach it to any pieces of wood that is on the um, similar to this just use a fish net and then their root is really 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 kicking off see that there's new roots forming everywhere on the side there's air roots and the orchids is doing fantastic you can actually hang this up in your greenhouse or hang it up on the on uh, any area of your house but we have it hang in the kitchen sill with the we have a little plate in the bottom so that way it doesn't um leach water everywhere and create a big mess in our kitchen but as you can see, it's doing fantastic and is actually growing beautifully. <laughs> New leaves are forming um, and like we can actually take a cutting of it and propagate it. <laughs> we also have this orchid here. As you can see that it has a little bit of sun damage to the leaf however the external leaf still attracts light to keep the orchids healthy so it's very unique how this happened is that we we left the orchid outside so it can get uh, sun and what ended up happening is that too much sun isn't good for your orchid and so the sun burned directly right here and then it burns right here well 
Yes, this orchid is a little bit hurt by the sun, but it's still growing beautifully by the fact that there's new growth in the middle. And also the stem is um, providing new um, buds here. So with the new buds, there will be flowers and orchids are very very resilient no matter no matter how um damage it is in the leaf it's still it's still growing strong and it's still um so when i was kind of sad to see that the sun gotten to the leaves but good thing that we did not cut the leaf off because if we cut the leaf off, um, it will probably hurt the orchid and it will not flower. But as you can see here, the roots at the bottom are very healthy and they are um, they're in moss. And basically we kept it in this pot here, but normally we just um, let the orchid do its thing. So hopefully we have, um, because we have new growth here at the bottom of the leaves here, hopefully we'll get an offspring and it will form into something like this one over here where you can see that it's the same particular orchids, um, store-bought orchids, and this little guy is doing fantastic. Um, but he's not flowering yet because it's not mature yet but these orchids here this one is mature it is damaged by the Sun but it is surviving no matter what it deals with so it general gen it generates new growth and it's healing itself no matter that it has been eaten up by the Sun it's just still doing its thing and it's growing fantastic which that's the reason why blooming season is coming and it's budding for us. Otherwise, it's going to be, um, it won't thrive. So as you can see, one stalk here, it has one, two, three stalk coming out from one stalk. And each of the form of the stalk, these are buds, buds from the orchids. So there are one, two main stalks. And it comes out to one, two, three, four, five stalks. And each of these um, stalks have buds forming. So that way it can bloom in, uh, at, season, at the blooming season. So particularly, this is a wonderful experience. And so when you have damaged orchids or if it has been accidentally damaged, by your doing or by any or, or by uh, whatnot just uh, keep it going and uh, it will survive because look at this it looked like a heart almost but it's been burned by the Sun this has been burned by the Sun this has been burned by the Sun but because it's very resilient it's still forming new leaves and it's still doing great so good things we did not cut the leaves because if we cut the leaves it will cause issue to our orchids and the new growth will not come out good luck and I love it it's so beautiful and I cannot wait until it blooms so I can show you what the flowers look like